20 years ago, I dreamed of playing for Manchester United. Walking through the players' tunnel at Old Trafford Stadium while feeling the roar of 76,000 fans waiting my team's entrance. I still kick the ball around today, but that dream is gone. So I got another dream. Fifteen years ago, I dreamed of jumping staircases and grinding rails for a living. I still skate today, but that dream is gone. So I got another dream. Ten years ago, I thought I might just rub shoulders with Tiger Woods as we teed off at the Masters. I still golf today, but that dream is gone. So I got another dream. Ten years ago, I read a novel and I thought for the first time, I can do better than this. And that dream is alive. You see, I've always dreamed also of having a happy marriage and being a father who would give up anything to provide a loving home for his children. And that dream is a lie. And in college, I realized what I loved most about life was showing others how to dream. And that dream is a lie. time to set up shop in a room called Possibility, room 101. So I give you permission to want it all, to envision your Porsche, to build your dream house, to marry that beautiful girl or have that handsome husband, to run your own business, and maybe even bring it back to Main Street, which used to be full of life. But understand that every dream has a cost. You must give up something to get something. See, See I, I want, want you to, to dream to... big and think deep and work hard. Grow up. So let your immaturity, let your, image, let your apathy, let your impulsive decisions, let your drama stay upstairs in seventh grade. In room 101, I don't want more work. I want better work. And I will relentlessly, diligently be in search of your best and nothing else will satisfy me until we are both in agreement that you gave your all. Let success be found in the pride that you feel from doing your best work, not in some letter a teacher marks on your paper in red ink. See, so you're here to learn, to grow up, and to realize that your choices are full of power and they are real. You are all You see, everything matters. We are all born like blocks of stone. And as the years slip by, our choices, one by one, create who we actually are, revealing the truth. Whether it's someone who lights up a room with their personality, or someone who casts long shadows of darkness and doubt on those who are trying to bring something good into the this world. statistics are not good. But you are not a statistic. You are a possibility. See, right now, the halls of seventh grade are filled with some other group of kids who used to be sixth graders. And right now, you sit before me, eighth graders, young men, and young ladies. My work has already begun. And so I ask you just one thing. Will you let me teach you how to dream? <laughs>